Welcome to another exciting episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. Uh, morning YouTube. Here with you on a Friday morning. I uh, I did almost 50 minutes of video on the uh, 328, the uh, Mega 328 uh, tester that Bill sent. I did that last night, um, but I only edited the mail call portion of the uh, video last night and put that up. So today I'm going to. Um, edit the rest of it where I actually did the uh, testing of the tester <laughs> um, so I will do that today and what you see following this will be the results of that so stay tuned and we'll get right into it so like I said what we have here is a Mega 328 taken apart um, not too much to see, as you can see. <laughs> um, there's the uh, battery clip for it. I may go ahead and put it in a battery in here and just see what it does real quick before I sign off because uh, what the heck, right? That won't take long. I have to uh, rob a battery out of my Mega 328, so do that real quick. There we go. There we go. Yeah, alright. Cut that out now. Alright, we'll put that in here. Better put it the right way, I guess. Probably be helpful. There we go. We'll get that in and we'll turn it over here and we'll hit the button. See what it does. Battery, okay. Uh, not getting much else. Doesn't look like. Hmm. So, maybe that's what Bill was talking about, I guess. Um, let me find my glasses here. Short probes. Okay. I don't know if that's what it's want me to do, or... Maybe that's what it wants me to do. I don't know. Let me put my probes in here real quick. Obviously, it's running to a test now. Alright, we'll do it again when it comes up. <sighs> wonder if this is like a... Um, oh, you know... Uh, troubleshooting type of diagnostic going through or something like that. Just wondering about that. It's a possibility. I gotta have a rest for my cookies. Girls made cookies. Well, I should say Kylie made cookies. Alexi comes in here and, and samples the cookie dough. I'll go ahead and you know, you take it off. Try this again. See, there's a light lit up underneath here. I don't know if that means anything or not. I want to let that discharge a little bit. Alright. Testing. There we go. It's got to see, whatever that means. Unknown or damaged part. And that's all it said. So, take these off. See if it does that same thing. Maybe that's what Bill was talking about. Let's go ahead and put something in there between the red and the green. Um, I have nothing here on the desk. So we'll go ahead and put this in. These are .03s, I think. I'm not real sure. I didn't even check the uh, check it that well. 
So uh, that's what I've got in there now. As you can see, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. So let's go ahead and do this one more time. Whoop. There we go. There's our battery. Let's see what we'll come up with, if anything. Cell. Mmm, short probes. Alright, they're probed. They're shorted. Don't see it doing anything at all, so. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I don't understand what that is. I'd have to know more about it, I guess. I'm sure that's some kind of diagnostic or something. Isolate probe. Okay. Got that done. I wonder if that stands for test six, test seven, guessing. All right. Eight ohm, four ohm, CO. Still must be testing. I didn't read the note. There was a note in here with it. I guess I should have done that first. Oh, okay. Well, 40 says picofarad. 1 and 3 are uh, greater than 100 nanofarad. I think this is greater than 100 nanofarad, but I'm not even really sure. I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. Just for the heck of it. I like it, wasn't this may not be greater than 100 nanofarad. I don't know. I get so confused. I'm like Bill on that uh, nanofarad thing. Let's see what that was. Oh, 047. Yeah, that's probably not, not big enough. So I wanted to point two or something like that, wasn't it? Point oh two. that was no one it. Or maybe it was bigger than 0.01. I can't remember. Let me try this one. No, that would be... 0.047 would be bigger than 100. Wouldn't it? I don't know. I'll let it go until it does something else. I suppose I could get my little... Maybe I can find out on the phone. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Uh, 100. NF to UF. Okay, 0.15 would be... Um, 150 nanofarad. So, yeah, it's point instead of point oh. I need something bigger than that. I don't think I got anything bigger than that. I'm thinking I've got uh, All right, here's one point 33s. Maybe this is what I used. I can't remember. I used something a little bit different than what I normally use. I know that. There we go. Now it's got uh, what it's supposed to have in there. I wonder if I had to press the button maybe or something. 
非常的难忘记。Bill, you can let me know in the comments, or you can write me an email, whatever you want to do, and let me know if this is what yours or what you're, you did on your end or, or what. But um, looking like it's just not completing the test. Oh, here's his note. Mega 328 transistor tester diode tester capacity ESR meter 1959 free shipping from China. Oh, that was just his note to tell you what it was, I guess. Okay, there's all kinds of instructions he's got printed out or whatever. Yeah, I'm measuring MOSFET. I just wonder if that uh, calibration routine is in there for that. Method of use. Screws, 9 volt battery. Test in. Telemetites. Measure. Okay. Okay, well that doesn't uh, that doesn't say too much about this thing. So we are still at the same place there on that. So well, I think it just stops on it. Apparently, again, Bill, you can let me know if that's what happened with you or not. Um, I think we can wait all night for this if we wanted to, but I don't think I want to do that. Um. Uh, I'm going to probably cut this down some because I uh, not very interesting <laughs> to sit here and watch this say that when that's what we have in there. I'll press it one more time. See if it does anything. Doesn't seem to. So I think we'll go ahead and disconnect it from the battery. And see if it reads that now. So, we'll let it discharge again. See what happens with it. Should be long enough. I think. Alright, we're going to press it one more time. We do have the uh, 0.33 microfarad uh, capa capacitor in there, which is should be 330 nanofarads. So, battery is okay. And we'll see what happens. It may go back to the same thing again. I don't know. We're just going to have to, if it does, <clears throat> we'll just have to look up, find out what we have to do to complete that test. <clears throat> so... So, see, I don't think that's right. Short probes. See, now that, that can't be right. Because we did all that. We'll do it one more time. So, you can see, yeah, whoever's still watching. <laughs> 31 minutes into this video. Um, it's doing something. We don't know what, but it is doing something. That is the key. So, I don't know which is going to give out first, the battery of the tester or the battery on my camera. I was kind of curious and see if this, uh, how long this thing would record. I know my Kodak up here goes longer than 30 minutes. Now both of the Sony's I think have a 30 minute limit on them and then you have to restart the video or now maybe one of them, I don't know which one, maybe it was the Kodak restarts after 30 minutes. I'm not sure how it works or what what it does or like that but uh, yeah we got something up there. Uh, i give you your, uh, your whatever. See there it says test in version 1.11k And it will go off then, I think. Now, see on my meter, it will give you the uh, value of the uh, of the capacitor that's in there. And I noticed that didn't happen on this one. 
so I can't I just don't know if that's the problem obviously I'm doing doing what it says to do when it says to do it I think all I'm gonna do is leave this go I'll unplug it run battery it whatever you want to call it and see if that makes any difference leave it overnight because the test did complete just let it let it have time to uh, uncharge recharge whatever it needs to do let me turn this off at 40 and 40 minutes ah, I'm back with you YouTube it is the next day I am um, gonna try this one more time this uh, uh, mega 328 meter meter uh, tester I'll get it right here in a minute all right and I don't I have not put the battery in it since last night and I'm gonna do that right now and the battery is hooked up and also I'm on, I don't have anything connected I'm gonna just hit the button and see what happens okay we have the battery check and it is okay and we'll see what happens if it goes back to the uh, short probes we know that something else is wrong still so, hmm that's interesting short probes okay um, it does not do as it's supposed to do so even though it did complete the test last night um, let me turn this off because I don't really need it I've had some time to think about this overnight and I think what I'm going to do is try to find um, on the internet some place that uh, maybe lists there is one thing there is a you know it's hard to see in, in here but if you look in, down in here when it's lit up or when it's uh, plugged in and, and testing in that there's a red light a red LED that lights up in there and I don't know what that means if it means anything I don't know but um, gonna try to find out more information on this thing and see if there is maybe perhaps a reset for this that will reset it and get it back to default uh, mode whatever to where it would work that way um, usually that involves something like shorting the probes or you know pressing pressing and holding the test button I don't know what it would be but I am going to try to do that and if I come back with it or if I have anything else to uh, report on it I will I'll make another video on it and do that but for the time being um, until I find out some more information or get some some help with this I don't think I'm going to do anything else with it because it's obvious that I keep repeating the same thing over and over and it just does the same thing over and over you know that's the uh, definition of uh, being insane I think when you do the same thing over and over expecting different results so anyway uh, I'm not gonna do that <laughs> so anyway uh, I'm gonna end this here and uh, you guys have a great day thanks so much for watching see ya